Hi, Diane Davey back again for the final in this three-part webinar series called Prepping for Grant Writing, brought to you by Working Culture and the Mobile Experience Innovation Center. Although specifically targeted to Canadian content creators who are creating content for the mobile space, most of the advice applies to anyone who's considering applying for a grant. In the first two of the series, we talked about having a business plan and marketing strategy firmly in place before beginning to write your application. In this module, we're finally going to talk about the grant itself. I recommended at the beginning that as soon as you decide to apply for a grant, that you prepare a grant writing project schedule uh, working back from the grant deadline. Put the grant deadline in your calendar with not only the day, but the actual time that the grant has to be in. That can be quite important. It's generally end of day five on a particular day. I always pretend that the deadline is one day before so I can trick myself uh, and I put that in the calendar too so that I kind of have a day in hand just in case something happens. And ideally, you know, you put a week in but that doesn't really happen. Also confirm whether the process is online or whether you actually have to deliver a hard copy. More and more grant uh, uh, funders are moving to online applications but some still require a hard copy which means you have to physically get the, uh, the, the grant to, some, to a place. One of the first steps uh, is reading the grant guidelines and the application form in detail. A lot of grant uh, applications I mentioned are now online, but I recommend going old school on this. Download a print copy, grab a cup of coffee, sit yourself down with a couple of color highlighters, <laughs> and, uh, and read the details without any other distractions. And I tell you this because some of them are quite complex and this is where you really need to understand the detail before you launch into it. I use one color highlighter for financial details and I use another for content and process. In the financial category, you're looking for things like the maximum amount of the grant, whether it requires matching funds. Some don't just give you the money, you have to put some money in yourself. If you have to put money in, can you do it from another granting source, another level of government? Uh, or can you perhaps match with some in-kind contribution, often staff time. Uh, and you want to also look at how the, uh, the grant is going to be advanced. This is where cash flow uh, call, comes into play. Are you getting some of it up front? Can you bridge the, uh, the development phase of whatever you're doing, whatever project you're working in, uh, with the amount of money that comes in over time? In terms of other details, uh, confirm that you're eligible. Not much point in doing the work if you find out as you get into it that you just aren't eligible. And if you aren't, uh, is it possible perhaps to partner with somebody else? Sometimes there can be a lead partner uh, and the, uh, the secondary partners don't have to have the same degree of um, criteria, the same criteria for eligibility. Uh, determine whether or not the grant favors certain types of projects. Um, often, Canadian funding programs um, err on the side of Canadian content for Canadian audiences. Is, is there that kind of bias in the, uh, in the program uh, guidelines? If it does, is it easier for you to align what you're doing with that mandate? Um, there's a certain amount of massaging in, in many grant applications, but if you have to bend your project out of shape to be eligible, perhaps that's not the grant for you. Perhaps it's not worth your effort. Pay attention to the sometimes really fiddly details around formatting your application. Some grants actually specify things like font size and number of pages, whether you can staple or not if it's a hard copy. Whatever it is, highlight it, put it on a checklist to review when you are putting the final thing together. If the application is online, make sure you're comfortable with the system. You don't want to be fooling around with it on the last day. It's just, it'll just terrify you. The point of doing this well in, in advance is that you may have to do some really time-consuming stuff in preparation. Uh, it, some, some grant applications benefit by having partners, in which case you need to actually go out and identify a partner, have some discussions with them, and, uh, and work out whether or not uh, that's going to work for you with their support. Build all of those action items into your, into your action plan. Once you, you've thoroughly reviewed the application details and process, you may well have questions. It's perfectly, perfectly possible. And even if you don't, I really strongly recommend that you get in touch with the person who administers the grant, often called the grant officer. Just to introduce yourself, tell them that you're you are thinking of applying and maybe giving them a brief outline of what it is you think you're going to be applying for. Make up some questions if you don't have them, just to get some sort of conversation going. I found this personal touch extremely important over the years. The grant administrator generally doesn't decide on whether or not you're going to get the grant, but they can certainly make the process a lot easier for you. 
Okay, so you've got a business plan, you've got a marketing strategy at your fingertips, you've read the guidelines in the application, you understand the process, you've made contact with an actual human being at the other end, you've done all the preliminary work that you need to do to meet the grant requirements. Now it's actually time to write the thing. Believe it or not, this is where your creative skills can come into play. You want to tell a good story uh, about what you're applying for, for, aligning it as closely as possible with the mandate of the fund, uh, it, the fund itself. I actually use the language that's embedded in the guidelines, uh, some of the objectives of the fund. I kind of repeat them in the application so that I really am forcing myself uh, to, to state clearly that I am aligning myself it, with, the, with the fund's mandate and showing how I'm meeting their objectives. The story you tell should be comprehensive but concise, which can be difficult because sometimes you're asked questions that kind of take you in a circle, but, but try your best. Working from your business plan and marketing strategy, describe your project in terms of why it's needed, who it'll impact, why you are the best people to be doing it, the desired outcomes, and how you will measure those outcomes. Let your passion for your work show through. I've served on grant juries and um, I know how impactful it can be to read an application that's well written and that uh, shows the heart and soul behind the facts. Uh, you're undoubtedly excited about what, about what you're doing, so, so make the person at the other end know that. It's, it can be very refreshing if you're working through a big, big uh, pile of grant applications. And lastly, the devil is in the detail. And I find by the time I've finished uh, doing all the planning and writing an application, I can't even see it anymore. I get to the point where I can't judge it. I don't know, frankly, if it's written in English. That's time uh, where, when you want to bring in somebody else to have a read, somebody with a fresh eye, who will have a really good look at it and do a rigorous edit. Incorporate those changes into, into the final. And this is the very last step. Go back to the, uh, the checklist that you made at the beginning when you were looking through the guidelines and make sure that your package, you've got everything on that checklist there before you either push the button or put it in an envelope to get off to the, uh, to the grant, uh, to the funder itself. Then you're done. Off it goes. Easy, eh? In this series, we've tried to provide you with some practical recommendations on preparing yourself to write a grant application. But not just any grant application, a successful one. The foundation for both a good grant application and a successful business is a solid business plan and marketing strategy. With those and a well thought out and well written application, you'll have a fighting chance of uh, getting what you ask for. But if you aren't successful the first time, don't be discouraged. I've actually examined my own track record and I think I'm bat something like about two out of three. When I get a turn down, I follow up with the grant administrator to see if I can get any insight into what I could do better next time. I don't complain, I just sort of follow up saying, could I have done better, what did I, what did I miss, How, why was I not successful, but in the nicest possible way. Then I wipe my tears away, I look for the next grant uh, deadline and I start all over again. On behalf of Working Culture and the Mobile Experience Innovation Centre, I want to thank you and I want to wish you the best of luck in your application.